Hey all you inspiring PBA programmers, this is the sixth video in a comprehensive course on programming Microsoft Office with VBA. Recent videos have been about reading, changing, and working with multiple Word documents. So now you need to save your changes, and that is what this video is about. You have many options when saving, and we will go over the common options, such as PDF versus Word versus HTML, saving with a new name or the same name, and password protection. Let's go over the simplest case first, saving an open document, active document .save as to. In this case, a document has changed and you want to save that document so no work is lost. The changes could have been made by your code or the user and you won't be changing the file name. You could run this code after making a change to a user's document or you could periodically save the document, say every 10 minutes. Active document .save as to. application dot on time when equals now plus time value of 10 minutes name equals test. This probably is not a good idea. One reason being that you should use the built-in option. File, options, save, save auto recover information every x minutes. But maybe you can modify this code to do something repetitive and periodic that is not built into Word. What if you have more than one document to save? For each doc in documents, doc.save as to. Next, doc. This iterates over the open documents with a for each loop, saving each one in turn. But there is an easier way documents.save. This saves every open document. The for each loop method would be better if you wanted to save each document conditionally. For instance, maybe you want to save each document if it hasn't been saved in one hour. For each doc in documents, if now minus doc dot built in document properties, word built in property dot word property time less saved is greater than one hour, then doc dot save as to, and if next doc. VBA treats dates as numbers. Each day is one, so we can do date arithmetic as fractions of one. For instance, 12 hours is represented as 0 0.5. Let's see how to convert Word documents to Adobe PDF. Active document dot save as to file name equals white paper dot PDF file format equals word format PDF. PDF is a better format for publication because viewers are free and it's harder to edit PDF documents than Word documents. Let's see how to convert all the documents in a directory to PDF. Doc name equals dir c colon backslash temp. While doc name is not equal to a blank string, doc equals documents dot open doc name. Doc dot save as to file name equals left of the doc name second argument in string doc name and we're looking for dot doc and then we add PDF. File format equals word format PDF. Doc dot close. Doc name equals dirt. W end. Perhaps your company has analysts writing technical or white papers, and naturally they are all Word documents. Now you need to convert them to PDF. The first time you call the dir function, you specify a path and it will return the first file. When you call dir again with no path, it will return the next file in the directory you previously specified. Finally, dir will return an empty string when it has run out of files to give you. Each time through the loop, we open the document so we can save it as PDF. The last example assumed that the directory has nothing but Word documents. Let's improve that. Doc name equals dir c colon backslash temp backslash star dot docx. We specify a filter for Word documents to the dir command. Now your code will only process the docx documents. But what if the documents are in subdirectories? There's a better way dim fs as scripting dot file system object set fs equals new scripting dot file system object dim temp folder as scripting dot folder set temp folder equals fs dot git folder c colon backslash temp dim my file as scripting dot file dim my doc as document for each my file in temp folder dot files if write of myfile.name5 equals docx. 
then set my doc equals documents.open file name equals my file dot path. My doc dot save as to file name equals my file dot path plus dot PDF file format equals word format PDF my doc dot close and if next my file. So that is a lot more code, right? But the first benefit is that we could find files in subdirectories. The second benefit is that you get to use the standard library. You can count on this library being installed everywhere. And even though we wrote more code, it's still less code than what it would take to write the subdirectory logic yourself. The scripting library code was written by professional Microsoft programmers, and it has been tested over many years. The bottom line is that you should be using libraries whenever you can. Now let's see how to save a document with a password for opening. Active document .save as to password equals pass1234. Now the next time someone tries to open this document for reading, they have to possess this password. Be very careful with this ability. First, prior to Microsoft Word 2007, it was very easy to crack a password protected document. With subsequent versions, 2007, 2010, and 2013, the encryption is actually quite good. There is no password recovery tool. Microsoft can't and won't recover your password. So if you lose it, it's gone for good. For single documents, I would consider using this document password encryption. But it is likely that you have other information to protect as well, and it isn't all Microsoft Word documents. So you should look into other encryption techniques, including zip password protection, Microsoft BitLocker, and other whole disk encryption systems. Aside from what I just said about using Microsoft Word document password protection sparingly, consider that you could apply the same techniques that we did for saving documents to password protect a bunch of files at once. Lastly, here's how to save a Word document to HTML. Active document that save as to file name equals c colon backslash temp backslash test.html file format equals word format filtered html. This will save the document and all of its associated files such as graphics in a single file. It's a Microsoft specific format and this code corresponds to single page web page in the save as dialog. This format works well for Microsoft products but you may require browser plugins for Firefox and Chrome. So here's how to save the document as a more standard HTML. Active document dot save as to file name equals C temp test.html file format equals word format HTML. In addition to the test.html file, this code will create a folder called test underscore files with the document's associated files, such as graphics, and the document will be readable in any browser. So that wraps it up for this time. The last five videos in some 30 minutes have been about Microsoft Word. This basic exposure is enough to get you started with the most common Microsoft Word VBA coding. We will come back to Word in more depth, but now it's time to move on to basic Microsoft Excel VBA. I suggest that you watch the videos in order if you are new to VBA. Perhaps you got to one of these videos in the middle of the series. And try the examples and watch these videos with friends. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.